Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. Uh, uh, we are back uh, with a, after an interesting um, little episode of uh, Showbox. But before we get into that, you know, shout out to Duke Reagan who won his uh, opening round match in in the Olympics today uh, against a Frenchman who was dirty and rabbit punching and throwing him to the ground and holding him. Uh, so shout out to Duke Reagan who won that. Uh, it wasn't the most appeasing thing to the eye, but it was it was a good performance nonetheless. Good enough to get the win for Duke Reagan. We'll see him in the round of sixteen. Uh, also, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. Also, our second channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to autism research. Uh, it's completely dedicated to Texas boxing, and all proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, sorry, guys, I'm tired today. Um, so please like uh, and subscribe to Texas Boxing Scene as well on YouTube. All right, let's get into today's show. Um, Isaiah Steen, really good performance, a really good show box card altogether. Three good fights. Um, Six fighters who had combined one loss on their record put together three really good fights. Uh, in, in the main event, um, Isaiah Steen really stole the show. Uh, he beat Hot Sauce uh, Henderson, Calvin Henderson. Man, that was some performance. Um, you know, Calvin Henderson's a big hitter. You know, he's aggressive. Um, and he was completely kept at bay. Hot, I mean, Hot Sauce couldn't get on the inside. He couldn't get much done. Uh, and, and I like Hot Sauce because he's from Fort Worth originally. But he just couldn't get it done today. Uh, and Steen really put on a, a, a demo, right? Like, if you want to see how to, how to fight a smaller, aggressive guy, watch this fight. Uh, Steen, uh, he's from Cleveland. He trains out with... Um, Charles Conwell, who's one of the premier prospects in the sport. Um, this kid, there's something to him. You know, he's not the biggest hitter. You know, he's not the quickest guy in the world. But there's something to him. Like, he fought a really disciplined fight. He fought a, a, a small, aggressive, a shorter, aggressive guy exactly as you would want to fight him. He kept him on the outside. He kept moving. He kept circling. He stayed off the work ropes. He fired his jab enough. Uh, when he came in, he hit him with a left. He hit him with a jab and then a right. Um, I mean, this was a textbook performance by Isaiah Stein, uh, Steen. This kid's got a future, right? Like, if you just – this sport – George Foreman said this sport is simple if you have a jab. Like, if you do a couple of things – you know, if you do all the textbook things right, and you're a fairly decent athlete, and you got size and strength, you can go far in a sport. A jab can take you around the world. And this kid really, really executed. He really, really executed tonight. Uh, he was able to keep Steen off of him. He worked the jab, fired the jab, kept him at range, kept him at bay, um, didn't, didn't let him close the range on him, didn't let him cut the ring off on him, and absolutely executed. I had it seven rounds to three. Um, I'm glad the judges got it right. Uh, I know Hot Sauce is the more entertaining fighter, although he didn't let his hands go. I mean, Steen didn't throw a ton of punches, but he threw enough. He didn't take risks, right? He fought a perfect, disciplined fight. Like, this is how you would tell uh, – this is how you would draw it up. This is how you, you would blueprint it. And he absolutely executed it. Guys, there's something to this guy. Again, I, I want to see him, again, take another step up. Take another step up. 168 is a division. Um, you know, it's not the you know, it's not the most star studded division, but it's a good division. Um fight Carlos Molina next. Um give me some names at, at 168 who, who are relevant right now. Um 
Shane Mosley Jr. You know, is that is that a name? Anthony Durrell. Um Jason Quigley, Luke Keeler, names like that. I, I want to see him. I, I want to see him against that level of competition. Um, I don't want to see him against different types of fighters. I, it keeps working with Calumwell. keeps getting better. He's got a future. He's going to be around. Um, not saying he's going to be a world champion or anything like that, but he's got a potential to be a top 10 guy in this division. Uh, just based off what he does, just based off the fundamentals, based off his IQ, uh, based off his – you know, willingness to stick to the plan. You know, um, well, I, I like you know he's got a good knockout ratio, although it doesn't seem like he's got a ton of power. Um, I I'd like to see a Quigley fight. Why not fight Quigley? Um, Quigley's got you know uh, one loss to Terrell Johnson, and then he eked out a decision victory over Shane Mosley Jr. Let's do that. Let let let's. Let's do uh, Quigley. I think it's a good fight. I think it's a fight he could win, honestly. He's a good fighter. Um, where he goes from there, I don't know, but I'd like to see him fight Quigley next. Um, really impressive performance. You know, I, I think most of us were expecting Hot Sauce to win. Hot Sauce would eventually get to him, wear him down, break him down. It just didn't happen. I, I thought it was a pretty dominant performance uh, from Isaiah Seen. Um Unfortunately, <clears throat> Calvin Henderson is, is, I guess, mostly done now. Um, you know, he, he he got a late start in the sport. Um, he, he put together some good wins. You know, um, I mean, he fought a lot of guys mainly in, a, you know, in, um, boy, I can't think. Where is he from now? Uh, Arkansas, Fayetteville, Arkansas. I fought guys out there. Um he came in and then he fought uh, just a month ago, I guess. He fought Tevin Anderson. He, he's got some wins. He's a good fighter, and he won. Um, he, oh, he fought a draw on another showbox card in in, in Philadelphia. Um, but I think this is kind of as far as he goes. And I think we have something in Isaiah Steen. Let me know what you guys think. Did you watch it? The showbox card in and of itself was, was pretty good. It was an entertaining card. Three good fights, three entertaining fights, three competitive fights. A really good showbox card. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Again, please subscribe. Please hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. And also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, which is completely dedicated to Texas boxing. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. Uh, it is July 23rd, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's get him in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.